The question one has to do with percentages, selling price, percentage profit. The B has to do with fractions and the C has to do with vectors. So the solution to question one. So the total cost of the pineapple selling price, then the percentage profit, then the fraction where you have to use board mass. Then the C which has to do with vectors and then finding the mean. Question two has to do with plain figures. So you're supposed to read through and then find the perimeter of the diagram. And also the BI has to do with writing an expression in the simplest form. And the II is change of subject. Then the C has to do with finding LCM and then HCF. So question two, you have to use Pythagoras theorem. Then find the perimeter as well. Then the B which had to do with expressing the simplest form. Then the BII which had to do with change of subject, making change the subject. Then C, finding the LCM and then the HCF. Question three has to do with, the A has to do with word problem involving fractions. Then the B has to do with um, triangles and ratio. And showing that a triangle is an isosceles triangle. Then the C has to do with standard form. So question three. Then the three B. C, which has to do with finding for the standard form. So question 4a has to do with change of subjects. And then the b, coordinate geometry. And the c has to do with um, finding the consecutive odd numbers, which add up to 39. And then the c has to do with basic board mass, which has to do with whole numbers. So question 4a, which has to do with change of subject, then the ii substitution, and the b, coordinate geometry. So you have to find the length of ab. Then the ii, which has to do with board numbers involving whole numbers. So question five, construction. You're supposed to construct a triangle. And then 5b, express 108 as prime factors. Then c has to do with trigonometry. So if, if you're able to follow all the instructions as stated, this is your result. This is going to be your result for the construction. Then your b. And then the C. Then you'll see this way you're going to get. Your question six, which has to do with statistics. Then the B factorization. And the B I has to do with set. Then the C linear equation. So your solution to the statistics. Then your B which has to do with factorization quadratic trinomials and I, I set then your C which has to do linear equation as I was two objectives so go through each of them take your time to solve them and the solution will be at the end of the video